In this episode, I show you how to add two terabytes of storage to your Xbox One or Xbox 360 with the Seagate Game Drive. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome to Bleeding Edge TV. I'm Andrew Edwards, editor-in-chief of GearLife.com. I'm gonna tell you all about the Seagate Game Drive for Xbox. It's actually right here, it comes out on August 10th and it allows you to add two terabytes of storage, the two terabyte hard drive. Now the game drive works flawlessly with the Xbox One and the Xbox 360. And as you can see, it's pretty small, so you can throw it in a pocket, in a bag, take it with you if you're going somewhere else, allowing you to bring your games with you. So I'm gonna open this up, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Let me actually tell you what two terabytes gets you, because some people might not know. The Xbox One ships with 500 gigabytes of storage space. Two terabytes is four times that much. So when you plug this in, you end up with 2.5 terabytes of storage space, giving you five times the storage that you had when you first bought the console. Look at the size, very small, very compact, as you can see. On the front, it's green, it says Xbox, and it says Seagate. The rest of it is black with some information on the bottom rear, and then there's a USB 3.0 port on the top, and that's it. It is a USB 3 drive, so you get USB 3 speeds. To give you an idea of what you can do with two terabytes of storage space, when you plug this in to your Xbox One, you end up with five times the amount of space you started with. You go from 500 gigabytes to 2.5 terabytes, or 2,500 gigabytes. For the Xbox 360, it's even more dramatic because when they started, they shipped with a 20 gigabyte hard drive. One of them came with a four gigabyte hard drive. So two terabytes is many, many, many times more than what your Xbox 360 shipped with. Now I know I'm throwing a lot of numbers at you, so let's give you some real world application. If you plug this into an Xbox One, it'll store up to 50 games. That's a lot. I found that I ran out of Xbox One storage space very quickly, so I bought myself a five terabyte Seagate external hard drive, but that one actually needs to be plugged into the wall. With this two terabyte version, there's no external power source needed. You just plug in USB 3.0 and you're good to go. It really is that easy, it's plug and play. You plug in here, you plug in there, you're done. So in the box, it does have the Seagate game drive for Xbox, as well as a USB 3.0 cable to connect the drive to your Xbox console. If you wanna get your hands on one early, we will be doing a giveaway. We'll have two of these to give away, thanks to our friends at Seagate. If you wanna get your hands on the Seagate game drive for Xbox, it'll cost $109.99, available on August 10th. We'll be giving away two of these though, so if you wanna get your hands on one, watch our channel, youtube.com slash gearlive. We're announcing the giveaway in the next day or two. To give you a hint, basically to enter, you just have to be a subscriber to our YouTube channel. It's free, go to our YouTube channel, hit subscribe, you'll be entered. Everybody who's a subscriber is entered to win. That was your look at the Seagate Game Drive for Xbox. Works with both Xbox One and Xbox 360. Our next video, I'll actually plug it in and show you how it works, how you get it set up. It's not that hard. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Andrew Weber. Stay tuned for more tech news through the eyes of GearLive.com right here on Bleeding Edge TV. And don't forget, if you want to win the game drive for Xbox, we'll be giving away two of them. All you have to do is subscribe over at YouTube.com slash GearLive.